Hi, I'm Shelly LeVette with ChildCareLand.com and today I want to share with you a great activity that you can put into your science center. It's called Sink or Float. It's very easy and fun to do. All you need is a dish pan, um, a little bit more than half full of water depending on the size of the items that you're going to put in a test to see if they sink or float. And you need items to put into your um, pan of water to see if they sink or float. And along with that I have a companion worksheet which can be found on my website at childcareland.com. Underneath the video section is called Sink or Float. There's three different sections on here. And what the child would do is they would take an object and either draw in what the object is or write the name in or do both and then see if it sinks or float and then check sink or float on here. You as the teacher or the child care provider could certainly um, draw you, the item in yourself and write the name in yourself and then make Xerox copies of these or photocopies of these and have these ready at the table. So it's pretty much up to you how you want to do this. Um, you can check, test any, test any kind of um, objects to see if they sink or float. That's the fun part of this is that there are so many things you can test. What I do though before we begin this activity is tell them that we put the things into the water gently. We don't just drop them or plop them in. Um, because there will be some children who want to create the splash effect. But we, we put things in gentle. And one of the obvious things for sinking is a rock. So you'd put that in, just kind of gently drop it in to see if it sinks or floats. And this one sinks. Something else you could do is maybe a foam block. Does it sink or float? And this one floats. So you can just really use your imagination you know, as a different kind of items. I mean, it's just endless of what you could do. So this activity could certainly be repeated. This is a spoon. Does it sink or float? sinks. Um, we have a little bristle block, one of those things that you push together and they stay together. The sink or float, that one floats. So again, there's all different kinds of things you can choose. I have a giant paper clip, sinks. And um, even though there's just three spots on that sheet, that um, companion sheet, you can certainly use more than one sheet. You could have two pages stapled together if you wanted to test six items. Um, so, you know, again, it's up to you, the age level of the children. Younger children may need supervision during this. A pencil floats. So again, um, use a variety of materials. Don't have everything that floats or everything that sinks. You want um, to choose materials that will, you know, pretty much either sink or float, but not just sink or just float. So you want to have a combination of both sinking and floating materials is what I'm trying to say. So for Sink or Float, I'm Shelly LeVette with ChildCareLand.com and thanks for watching.